uh, healyshealthstore.com. What I want to talk to you today is about the full value of amino acids and uh, in saying that, as you'll see on my website, amino acids sporting application is probably only 20% of the true uh, value of amino acids. The vast 80% value of amino acids is health and well-being. Now I've referred to uh, the uh, books written by Dr. Barry Finnan, who is the microbiologist uh, at Monash University and also he's been the expert who's uh, advised many of the uh, Olympic and Commonwealth Games sporting bodies on the taking of amino acids to assist um, you know, sporting objectives. However, um, as uh, the books of, of, of Dr. Finnan has uh, described, that the health and well-being benefits of amino acids far outweigh the sporting benefits. The sporting benefits are sort of a side benefit really when you actually look at the depth of uh, the full uh, spectrum of the amino acid use. And this includes uh, not only fat loss, but it includes uh, the neurotransmitters of the, of the brain. Um, it includes uh, uh, assistance in um, antidepressants of, of, of description in, in a bigger picture. Uh, it assists in uh, the uh, cleansing of the uh, internal system, the liver, uh, the kidneys, uh, the uh, um, stomach and the intestinal tract with L-glutamine and several other amino acids. But to understand what is an amino acid, I will just uh, read a little bit from uh, highlights from Dr. Barry Finnan's book, uh, also various other um, uh, texts that I use. But just give you a big picture so you can understand it. it. It really is invaluable. We've been using amino acids in sporting use and health and well-being use with uh, various associated naturopaths for over 20 years now and I can guarantee you if you have a good amino acid um, uh, supplement range of which we um, propose on uh, Healy's Health and Wellbeing or Healy's uh, Healthstore.com, Healy's Health Com also goes into this in, in greater detail and all what I say here in this video is of course in written material on the websites. Now what are amino acids? I'll give you a little bit of a description and uh, this may enlighten you a little bit. About one-sixth of your body consists of proteins. So an amino acid is a substrate of a protein, it's a smaller particle of a protein. In other words one uh, hundred grams of protein broken down into, into its amino acid part is about a teaspoon. So a teaspoon of pure free form amino acids out of 100 grams of uh, protein such as a piece of steak or fish or whatever. Um, <clears throat> now, uh, about one sixth of your body weight consists of protein which make up the main part of the tissues such as muscle, skin, hair and nails. All protein contains nitrogen, as well as carbon, hydrogen and oxygen found in many organic molecules. Uh, they are big molecules. One protein molecule may contain thousands of atoms. There are two main types of protein, structural and functional. The structural proteins are the body's building blocks, the scaffolding, the girders, the cladding, the plates, the tiles. If you could compare that to a house, you know, it's actual structure. And then the other very important part, which a lot of people don't understand, is that amino acids or proteins, the substructures of proteins, are functional proteins. The functional proteins means enzymes, which are the chemical handlers and regulators of the body. In other words, they're con the construction workers themselves. So I'll just read that again. Functional proteins, and the smaller part of a protein is the amino acids, are enzymes. In other words, an enzyme is a chemical handler or regulator. Every chemical reaction in your body is handled by an amino acid, various kinds of amino acids. For, for example, <clears throat> one product that we sell is acetyl-L-carnitine. Now, acetyl-L-carnitine 
Not only does it transport fats or lipids out of the bloodstream through the cell wall, that's a whole science to even understand that, but basically the cell walls open and close according to positive and negative energy uh, in your body and it goes into the cytoplasm in, in the body cell. So the, the <clears throat> acetyl-L-carnitine is quite a, a, quite a large molecule as all the amino acids are and it actually carries fats hooked up to it electronically. It's, it's quite amazing really when you look into it. Through the cell doors from the bloodstream into the cell, it travels through the, the, the protoplasm and it reaches the microondra and which is the cell's uh, energy burning factory which actually makes the endosine triphosphate that enables you to actually move. Endosine triphosphate is a body's energy molecule. So acetyl carnitine will carry fats from the bloodstream through the openings in the cell wall with the, the uh, electronic um, you know, positive and negative ions moving through and it will feed it to the body's engine which is called a microondria, which is a little cigar shaped organ inside the body cell which it, it consumes fats as its fuel and it produces energy which is permutated into the body which enables you to move and uh, muscles move etc etc so I'll just keep it simple but that's the structure now amino acids amino acids do all these functions and most importantly the amino acids also help the nerve cells communicate with each other the neurotransmitters of the mind of the body and uh, of every muscle cell that you've got because the muscles themselves are actually linked up with the nervous system they have ranges of uh, what they call recruitment nerves along the edge of the muscle it is amazing to watch the whole body system it's like an inner universe so <clears throat> Enzymes, let's see the protein as an enzyme, are biological catalysts and catalysts are substance, substances that increase the rate of chemical reactions without being used up. Enzymes are also proteins. They are folded into complex shapes and allow small molecules to fit into them like acetyl L-carnitine. Each protein is eaten in a food and becomes a chain of subunits called amino acids, strung like beads of a necklace. Now, you go down further from an amino acid and you, and you get what they call peptides. Now, that's not the illegal peptides, that's just the structures break down accordingly. So, amino acids, critically important for health and well-being. Healy's Health and Urban Muscle have a full range of amino acids. For 20 years, we've known the secrets of amino acids. But you know what? Years ago, I used to just focus on the sporting side of amino acids. And as, you know, I'm now 60, and I've realized that the vast, deeper um, benefit of amino acids is health and well-being. Have a look at my website. This is just a short video to enlighten you. Have a look at the website, healyshealth.com and then click on the supplement side, look at the analysis on the amino acids, you will be surprised. And if you have any questions, also healyshealthstore.com, and if you have any questions, give me a call or send me an email. Email healyshealthandfitness at hotmail.com or my mobile number is 0411 393 503. I look forward to having a chat to you and remember amino acids can turn your whole life around and you can be uh, oh, not only super fit but super healthy and uh, I'm 60 and I'm a living proof of it, I never get sick. Why? I'm on amino acids, protein, drinks, everything that I say to you on these videos, I'm taking them myself and you want to come down and do some training with me? We'll see how we go. Have a good day. Amino acids is the go for health and well-being, no matter what age you are.